Here we go, Blue Ridge Parkway. I forget how many miles this is. I think it's long, like 400-ish or something. But the AT will be crossing this a bunch of times coming up. So bought one of the smaller smart water bottles uh, for that cap. And I replaced the one that comes with the Sawyer with that. So it's one piece. This is getting a little dirty too. And I can just flip it off. Don't want to have the cap. Um, and I can just use that to back flush that. 100 miles left. This is the home stretch. So there's the shelter on the AT called the priest, and it has a tradition. So some people will, you know, confess their sins to a priest. So in the shelter logbook, people will write all their trail sins. Um, so these are things that like are unethical on the AT or against leave no trace. All stuff that you're not supposed to do, but some people do do it and break the rules. So so some of the ones I remember are like, uh, oh, I. Uh, pushed over a, a live tree to hang my hammock, or I peed in the, one of the privies that you're not supposed to pee in, uh, accidentally broke a girl's ankle, saw someone else's litter and didn't pick it up. So, so it was funny just kind of reading, reading through this stuff. Uh, according to my weather app, it said I got to 28 last night, and I've got my myself and my liner here. I'm wearing my jacket, all my clothes basically, and I've got my quilt, like, kind of, uh, fastened up at the end there and this end and then I have it so it's like all around my my shoulders like this so it actually keeps me quite warm and comfortable so I can eat and comfort this is why I like tenting because if I'm not tenting I'm sitting you know on a picnic table like trying to do jumping jacks to stay warm oh yeah got the heater turned on it actually does kind of it warms up the tent significantly when the burner's on especially at the top like I, I can feel it up here like, and then it gradually comes down once you turn it on it's pretty quick reacting i am so happy to wake up to snow on the ground even though it's just dusting it's nice to have some snow before i finish my hike the trail is so much more pretty this way all right we're at the summit of bluff mountain the weather got a little bit worse up here from where i was camping but it's not too bad it's definitely getting chilly but as long as i'm moving i'm comfortable Last resupply on the AT and the grocery store, Glasgow, Virginia. Got another hostel all to myself, Stanimals in Glasgow, Virginia. Very nice, very nice caretaker Donna. Got 55 miles to go to Daleville, Virginia, and that'll be where I end my hike. So bittersweet, guys, bittersweet. So these three doggies just came up to me when I was about to have lunch and they're not with any owner so i'm pretty sure that they're they're hunting dogs because they've got their garmin like gps collar tags so i think they're out they're very friendly to me uh, i think they're out for like catching bears i was talking to some hunters yesterday and the dogs will they train the dogs to go find the bears and then they like hold them up in a tree or something though the owner will get alerted and then they come i started hiking and i f see this guy following me and when I stop, he stops. A few minutes later, I ran into the dog owners. Uh, apparently the G the batteries in the GPS collars died and the hunters were trying to follow like the dog tracks in the snow to locate them, so they found them. Check out this overlook. I don't think I've ever said wow so loud in my life before when I saw this. Look at this. This is amazing. Just fresh snow yesterday, sun setting. Virginia Mountains, whatever you call it. Appalachian Mountains, maybe. Ever seen frozen socks? <laughs> That's so funny. These are what I gotta put my feet in tomorrow to start hiking. Frozen shoes, also. Oh. are tough to get on. So an additional chore I have when it gets below freezing at night is <clears throat> unfreezing my water bottle. And then also I've kind of discovered um, for like dry hands, if you just kind of hold your hands over the like steaming water when you boil stuff, it helps, uh, I think, moisten them. Um, so a substitute for hand lotion. This is a famous rock formation on the AT called the guillotine. It's uh, just a rock that's suspended right there. And walk under it, hope it doesn't fall. It is 7.15 in the morning on December 12th, 2017. 
and today is probably going to be the day that I'm finishing. I'm, uh, let's see, 27 miles from my finish point, uh, I think with US 11, uh, the road uh, that goes into Troutville. That's where I left off back in May. Uh, 15 miles left, and I am not sleeping out here tonight. I have, uh, I am hiking right to a hotel. Look at the, the photos, these are so old. These are, you can tell by the packs, everyone has external frame packs. After my second lunch, it snowed while I was having lunch, these big snowflakes, and I have four and a half miles left. Three miles. Two. No left, guys. I have done 2,189 miles since January 12th of this year and it looks like I'll be able to finish just before daylight on December 12th, 11 months later. Just wanted to point out, here and there in the AT, a uh, couple areas, it goes through private land. The final climb, and it's a steep one, really making me work to earn this hike. I have to walk in this minefield of cow turds. Gotta dodge them. Ugh. Well, I'm not even a quarter mile from the finish line, and I had like a M minor fall <laughs> I guess I was just really excited I was like holding my phone in one hand and my trekking poles like not using them and I was trying to go fast because it's getting dark and the roads like right there uh, I'm okay no no blood just uh, gotta keep going <laughs> this is it That's, here it is guys I'm not gonna get carried away, make sure it's safe to cross, but this road's my finish line. All right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm doing it. I did it. <laughs> Let's turn this around. Yeah, Woohoo! Oh, you can't even see me. Wow. I did it. I hiked the Appalachian Trail. The entire thing, 2,190 miles. Wow, that's it. I gotta get a picture. US 11, Troutville is that way. So what I have to do now is I have to hike about a mile and a half down the trail. Uh, the second piece I already did to get to Daleville, Virginia. Uh, yeah, so this was my longest day ever on the AT, 28.2 miles, and it took me uh, 10 hours and 45 minutes with uh, two, two lunch breaks. It's uh, a marathon day because marathon is 26 miles, so uh, it's my first marathon day. Longest day prior to this was 23.9. There's Pizza Hut, and then there's Super 8, and that's where I'm staying. Yes, my app says it's 28. And it's gonna fall to 21 tonight. So I'm very, and that's down here, not up at elevation. So I'm very happy I'm staying in a hotel tonight. Gotta to reward myself. Stayed at this hostel back in April. I'm now revisiting it. Gonna throw some extra food I had in the hiker box. Ooh. Clean shaven. Hey guys, just want to thank all of you for following and watching all my videos. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm happy to be finished with my hike. Uh, great accomplishment this year, 2017. Uh, I'm planning on uploading a bunch more videos in the coming weeks, so all this uh, gear videos and uh, videos about specific topics about the AT going into detail, so stay tuned.